children i welcome you to another lesson on data collection in mathematics in our previous lesson we looked at how we can represent raw data on a tally chart you remember how we represented our vegetables we collected in a basket on a tally chart very good today we are going to continue with that by the end of the lesson, you should be able to represent other data that you collect from your various places and also represent them on a tally chart. You should be able to answer questions using the tally chart. Good. We are going to use our keywords that we used the previous time to help us understand our lesson into details. We look at the word tally. And what do we say it is? It is the total number of times a specific instant appear. That means our vegetables. We look at the number of times the green pepper or the sweet pepper appear. We also look at the number of times the tomato appear. That is what I'm talking about. Which other way did we talk about? Chat. Chat. We said it is an information in the form of a table. So we were able to represent our information on a table, which is known as the tally chart. Very good. We also looked at the word organized. Organized. So we organize, when we talk about organization, you are going to arrange your data in an orderly manner. Okay, children, we are going to represent our data. This is our raw data. So we are going to represent this data on our tally chart. The colors of pencils we have in the cup. By just looking at it, can you tell me the number of blues you have? It will be a bit difficult. That is why you need to organize this data on a tally chart to help you read out the number of blues or greens or red or pink, the number of colors of pencils we have in cup. All right, we are going to do it together. So what are the colors? We have blue. So in my first column, I'm going to write colors. We have blue. We have what again? Orange. Green. Yellow. And pink. These are the colors of the pencils we have in the cup. In our second column, what am I supposed to put there? Tally. In the last column, the number. All right, so you are going to help me tally this raw data that we have in the cup. What color is this? Blue. So you are going to tally blue. Another blue. Blue. Green. Blue. I hope you can see the way I'm telling Good. Yellow. Yellow. Green. Another green. previous lesson you cross it out so this is the fifth one very good another green yellow green blue this is the fifth one for blue 
through. So what are you going to do? You cross it out. Good. Another blue. Blue. Another blue. Yellow is three. Orange is also three. So 
orange and yellow had the least number of pencils. Very good. Our fourth question. What are the colors involved in the data collected? What are the colors involved? So you are going to look on your tally chart to look out for the numbers, sorry, to look out for the colors of the pencils that we had. What are the colors? Blue, orange, green, yellow, and pink. So these are the colors involved in the data collected. Our last question. Why is it important to represent raw data on a tally chart? Why do, you, why do you think it's important for us to represent our data on a tally chart? The tally chart makes our data more meaningful. Or it also helps us to read out whatever information we want from the data easily. Very good. You've done well. So children, we have come to the end of another lesson on how to handle data using the tally chart or the frequency table. I hope the lesson was interesting. Very good. What have you learned today? We looked at how to handle raw data on a tally chart or the frequency table. We also answered six questions using the tally chart. All right. Get more raw data in the house. Draw the tally charts in your jotters and try to represent your data collected on the tally chart. I'll come your way another time. Until then, bye-bye.